Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. Today, I have Jesse Wong here from App Academy. And what he's going to do is give you his insight, his background on his experience of going through App Academy, and then also talk about the services that App Academy can provide. So, with no further ado, what's up, Jesse? Up to hey, it's going well, man. It's going man. Well, I thank you for coming on to talk about App Academy. So, yeah. even though you know those playoffs are coming up and my Cavs <laughs> are ready for it, <laughs> Golden State, <laughs> we'll see how ready they are. We'll see how ready they are. <laughs> so cool. Hey, so you were a student at App Academy? I was indeed a student at App Academy, yes. Okay, did you have any? Well, first of all, could you tell me a little bit about App Academy? Yeah, so App Academy is um, its primary service that it offers is a 12 week on site full time coding bootcamp. Um, and what the goal of this program is, is to lead folks who have little to no coding experience to a place where they can go out and get a an intro an entry level position at like a web developer position or like a software engineer at sort of a, any sort of job or whatever, things like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, when um, you you were a student at App, App Academy, correct? Before you were an instructor? Correct, yeah. So I participated in the course. Um, I was in the July 2017 cohort. Uh, so we finished around October or so. Uh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Now, before you went through it, did you have any coding experience? I did not. So I didn't really have a technical background. Um, in college, I studied economics and expected that after college, I would go somewhere into maybe business or marketing, something like that. And then heard about App Academy kind of randomly, just from a friend in passing, did some research on my own and found out about you know, this program and other programs like it. And then upon further research, learned that App Academy had, you know, some defining features separate from some of the other coding boot camps that are out there and decided it was the one that I wanted to potentially try to be part of. And when I did the program, it was like all new information, I had never coded a single line of code before really trying to get into that application process. Um, but I would say so far, it's been like a pretty fulfilling, like, you know, worthwhile experience. That's, that's awesome. Now, before we continue, when we mentioned code, that's a, a, a broad ter term. Could you define specifically what coding um, you will learn at App Academy? Yeah, definitely. So the stack that we teach here at App Academy um, is kind of built around two languages. Those languages are Ruby and JavaScript. Um, within those languages, we learn a couple of other things. So one of the frameworks that we really focus on as part of Ruby is the Ruby on Rails framework. And so that's going to go ahead and set us up with our introduction to um, a backend, a database, managing that database. And we do use SQL, we instruct in SQL and using active record syntax, which is sort of like a, a marriage between SQL and Ruby. And then we switch to JavaScript and then we go into React, which is another framework, React and Redux. Um, and that's sort of like what we'll use on our front end when we combine our React Redux front end with our Rails, Ruby on Rails back end. That's pretty cool. So this sounds like you will be, you can learn uh, some great skills to either be a web developer or a software engineer. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of folks when they come to the program, they have this goal of becoming a web developer, but we really feel like in order to prepare our students, especially those who oftentimes come from non-technical backgrounds, we don't have a CS major, et cetera. We want to make sure we cover some of those like really core and integral computer science topics, like for example, like big O notation, time complexity, space complexity. We go into data structures, algorithms. So we really try to hit all the bases in that 12 week section in order to make sure that when students end, they really have all the skills that they will need and that jobs and companies are looking for. That's awesome. Because I know where I'm located, you know, nor any type of coding language, whether it be Java, whether it be Python, whether it be Ruby, you know, the job market is on fire right now. So what you guys are doing, I, I believe could really help a lot of people if um, they go down the right path and, you know, works out for them. Now for you, when you got, when you completed the course, you automatically became an instructor. So it sounds like you were very passionate going through the course. <laughs> 
yeah, I like wasn't really big on school kind of before App Academy, um, and perhaps many folks weren't. But uh, when I first sort of started App Academy, I just kept thinking to myself while I was going through the program, I'm like, wow, this is like really, really hard. But also, it's really, really easy to go ahead and just do this because I'm so interested in what we're learning. Every day was another like deep dive into something that I didn't even realize was something that somebody like me could learn. Um, and every single day with the material, I feel like the instructional staff that came before me um, and even the current instructional staff is really working to make sure the curriculum is dynamic, updating regularly as, you know, Rails 5, new updates are coming in, new Webpack updates are coming in. We're trying to keep that curriculum current. And I feel like it really pays off in keeping students engaged. And it's been like uh, ridiculous. Like I've been so engaged, more engaged in this than I have in any subject that I ever took in, in college or anything like that. You know, um, my, my passion is pretty much networking, so I can truly relate to your experience. Now, for someone that is looking to learn um, coding or de web development, do you think it's possible to do it on your own? Or do you recommend going through like a boot camp or something like that? I mean, of course you work for App Academy, but. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I strongly believe that one of the benefits of this industry, right, that anybody who's looking into learning how to code is potentially going to enter is that there's so many open source materials just out there in the world, right? Like you can Google how to code and you'll get a million videos, a million links, et cetera. So absolutely, if like you wanna learn how to code, you totally can learn on your own. Uh -huh. But, right, there is something that comes with being able to ask those questions, to be able to cater and curate a set of resources that's going to lead you through the stuff that you need to know because there is a wealth of information on, on the internet, a million videos, like I said, a million links, et cetera. It's hard to know like what you actually need to focus on and how to create a sort of like linear progression through this sea of materials. And I feel like that's one of the things that App Academy does extremely well is leading students through what they're going to learn, why they're going to learn it, a structured pattern, et cetera. So I, I feel like that's one of the ways in which App Academy sets itself apart. I agree. It's kind of like going to college also, you know, you get to build relationships with people and, you know, you being an instructor and those that, you know, um, are on your team are also already have been in the industry or are in the industry, you know, in some form or fashion. You So you really build those relationships that can help you outside of just going to the academy. Yeah, definitely. Now, um, the, the portion that we're talking about here is the online portion, the five week um, course. Could you tell me a little bit about that and how it varies from the 12 week course? Well, yeah, 12 week course. Yeah, so that course, right, Bootcamp Prep Online, um, that's designed to give folks who have no coding experience an introduction and then ramp them up through the basics of specifically JavaScript, right? So the Bootcamp Prep Online course is you know a 40 hour course generally folks complete it in about five weeks um and it's designed so that you have a nice way to sift through all like the basic materials and really figure out like what you need to know to set you up to take that next leap so it's designed so folks can then apply to other boot camps including app academy of course um with a basic knowledge to get through those technical interviews the interview process the coding challenge process to get into those boot camps Huh, that, that, that's, that's dope. Now, w the one thing that I find great about web development is that, you know, you can apply for a job, but at the same time, you can do a lot of freelancing. Do you see a lot of people that go through your course that freelance? Yeah, so it sort of depends on the tuition model, right? So one of the things that App Academy has as part of its like structure is a deferred tuition model. Um, and so for folks who are on the deferred tuition model, one of these sort of stipulations is it does feed into specifically a web development full-time position. Um, but if like, let's say for example, you didn't want that deferred tuition model, you just paid because you wanted to go to the program, then you see a lot of folks who will do contract work. Like a few people from my cohort are currently doing contract work while they're traveling with the skills that they learned at App Academy. So it sort of allows for that flexibility, which I think is one of the main draws of this industry in this field. <laughs> I agree. It's, it's one of the um, things that kind of made me interested in web development myself. But with so many things that I'm doing, I really don't have the time and I know how to utilize my time best <laughs> for myself. So exactly. 
So now that you're done with um, training and you're an instructor, where do you see this industry in, let's say, three years? Yeah. So I think especially sort of having App Academy, at least in this current location in San Francisco, being in you know one of the centers of the software engineering boom, right? It's It sort of feels like the jobs are going to exist forever. Um, and they totally might. I think there's a lot of inventiveness that's really come about in the last couple of years, really pushing ahead these new frameworks like React Redux, one of the stacks that we teach or one of the parts of our stack that we teach here. That's like such a new framework and it's still getting updates, still solving problems that are you know from the initial update. So I personally think that boot camps like these are going to allow a greater number of folks to really transition and move forward with the, the state of the world that we're living in, right? Like so many things are going to need dev. So many things are going to need engineers. Any business worth its salt is going to need a website. It's going to need somebody to upkeep that website, whether it's a contractor or a full-time dev. And so I really feel that you know, the more devs we have out there, the more progression that we as like an economy and a society can make in terms of like getting on that next level of technology. True. And you mentioned data and I know previously you mentioned SQL. So do you all go over um, big data, like anything with um, Hadoop or anything like that? Yeah. So we, we pretty much focus at least in the core part of the curriculum on just pretty standard, like databases, not super large, like local databases. Um, and then when you get to the second portion of the curriculum, right, which is primarily data structures and algorithms, then you go into more high level overview of like all the different kinds of data structures, whether they are like, you know, multiple servers in the cloud or like larger local servers. And so that's, that's covered in that section of the curriculum. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, it does sound like you are, you know, invest a lot of time to build on a curriculum that pre prepares um, people for the job for us. So I really do commend the work that you are doing and also your team. So that's awesome. And, you know, I thank you for your time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. What advice would you give someone that is, that may be going through the course or looking to get into um, software de development, web development? Yeah. So for me, um, before I started the course, I didn't know a whole lot about code. Um, and Sometimes I made it difficult to contextualize some of the stuff that I was learning because I just knew that I liked coding, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with coding. So one thing that I like to do now, especially um, when I'm looking into learning new stuff is like watch videos. There's a ridiculous amount of videos on YouTube about people either coding out things, explaining things, showing stuff that they've made. All those different types of videos are all super useful in terms of contextualizing what exactly you came to App Academy or are looking at App Academy or other boot camps or other resources for. I think that's really going to help drive that, you know, sort of that motivation as well as, you know, push that learning forward. So I would say just watch videos. That, that's some great advice. I have one more question for those that, you know, that may be going through the Academy. How would you advise someone that, go th that goes through the Academy or learns the skill required to get a job to, um, set themselves out there with if they don't have any experience you know because a lot of times employers will say hey um yeah you, you know you have all the right skills but you don't have any experience what would you recommend to someone to get those gain those experience or to build um their their um uh, credibility in the industry yeah um one thing that i like about app Academy specifically and i think this sort of advice feeds right into that is at app academy you're going to build at the very least three projects that are going to go into your portfolio. And I always tell students as you go into the program, like if you come with an idea for a website or a phone app, or even just like a simple sort of like JavaScript, like game or something, like write it down and just make it. Like once you learn the skills, like make it. All engineers, like this industry is fantastic because at every point in your career, you should always be trying to learn stuff, trying to create new stuff, trying to practice new stuff. It's a constant, constant process. So I would say, continue to practice, continue to build things. And then when you get to that interview, you're like, okay, I've made X, Y, Z and A, B, C, D, E, F, et cetera. Right. So clearly you put the work in, you have the skills, they can see you have the skills and the rest will sort of fall into place at that point. That's some great advice, Jesse. So I uh, thank you for um, taking the time to come on the channel. Do you want to, you know, shout out any website, social media or anything before we go? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
App Academy, it's great. I love working here, obviously. Um, we have offices in San Francisco and New York. Uh, we have an Instagram, App Academy, IO. Um, feel free to follow us. Hope all of you, if you want to get started in your career in code, feel free to check us out. Uh, feel free to send us an email, all that stuff. Hope to hear from all of you soon. Cool. Thanks, Jazzy. I appreciate you coming on, man. Thanks.